Hey everyone, it's Adam here from AM Music. Thanks very much for joining me today and I'm gonna take you through how to get started with Logic Pro. Let's jump into it straight away. Okay, so I'll share my screen. I am gonna go down to here, Logic Pro, click that. Uh, I'm on version 10.7.2, so if you're on a later or an earlier version, I wouldn't worry too much, they're fairly similar. Um, so I'm gonna go up here to File, go to New, and then this window is going to pop up and it's basically just asking you to select a track type um, to get you started. So you can either do a software instrument, audio or drummer. These are the three main ones. Software instrument is going to allow you to use a MIDI keyboard and input data, input notes so that you can control logics, synthesizers, keyboards, drummers, uh, basses, all these virtual instruments. Um, the audio one is going to allow you to record real audio. So if you've got a microphone or a guitar and you've got it plugged in via a cable, this is the way to go. The main two types in Logic are software instrument, which is MIDI, and audio, which is audio. Uh, you've also got a third one, which is the drummer, and that's basically like a virtual drummer. It's uh, There's several with different kind of profiles that have different sounds, and you can use this if you don't have access to a real drummer. So it's good for the song singer-songwriter kind of people out there. So there's that one as well. Um, so we're just gonna start with a software instrument just to get us going, hit create. And then this opens up and this is your main Logic Pro window. So this is how it kind of looks most of the time. Um, this is the main window. Here are your channel strips. Here is your library. And um, we're gonna dive into all of that in one of the next videos. We're gonna to go to File. No, we're not, we're gonna to go to Logic Pro. We're gonna to go to Preferences and we're gonna to go to Audio. This might also be Settings, but yeah, we're gonna to go to Audio um, and we're gonna make sure we're set up correctly. So click that. This window opens up. Um, so where it says output device and input device, this is where you designate your audio interface if you have one, like how you want your audio to come in and come out. I really recommend that you have an audio interface that's separate from what's built into your Mac. The sound quality will be much better and it will also be able to handle um, and it will create less delay for recording and things like this. So I have the Motu M4 and that's selected as my output and the same for my input. So my output is gonna be what is coming out, the sounds, so my speakers are plugged into the M4 and the input is where my microphones and cables for guitars are going into. So I want those two set up. If you do want your, if you don't have a third party audio interface, you can choose Mac Mini or whatever your Mac is um, down here and that will be your output and same for your input as well. So that's the only one we really need to worry about right now on the settings. We do also want to go over to advanced though and make sure enable complete features is checked. This will ensure that you have all of the more advanced features but you need them basically so do turn that on. So we just hit X and that's all you need to do to get started. In the next video, we're gonna look at recording some software instruments. Let's go.